For 30 days, I decided to give up dairy. Now, you might be asking yourself, why would you do such a thing? Well, it's because if I've learned anything, it's that everything on the internet is true, and the internet says a lot of negative things about what dairy does to your body, and it also says a lot of positive things about what can happen when you eliminate it from your diet. If there's one thing to know about me, it's that liking cheese is my second personality trait to liking iced coffee, and third to liking cats over dogs. So come with me and watch as I try to find joy and flavor in foods that no longer can contain any dairy for the next month. Anyways, let's roll the tape. Today I'm starting my 30 day no dairy challenge, quest, extravaganza, whatever we're calling this. So of course I am big big coffee girl i love my iced coffee in the morning i love all coffee but i'm a big big iced coffee girl so i want to make sure that i was prepared with this challenge because i'm gonna say it i'm gonna say it i like a little bit of half and half in my coffee i know i know so obviously if i'm going dairy free half and half's out of the question i wanted to try something else oat milk out of the question for me not really a fan of that The lighting is just like not it. I'm so sorry. But now I'm gonna add in some of the nut pod creamer and see what that tastes like. I wonder if this froths. I might have to see if that froths at some point. Okay, here goes the taste test with my iced coffee and the nut pod creamer. Cheers. Ooh, okay. That's okay, I like this a lot. It just has like a nice smooth, lightly sweet flavor. Here is the finished product of my little lettuce wrap. It kind of looks sad, but it's actually really good. And then I think I'm gonna do probably like some cucumbers and hummus or some almonds, you know, something like that. I was going to have those Quest protein chips, but they're all made out of like a protein blend that has milk in it. That's kind of sad. So I'm gonna eat this, drink some water and have a little snack with it because obviously this is not like a lot of calories it's actually really good as the days were going on and i started making trips to the grocery store i noticed that i am somebody that really relies on protein shakes protein bars and things like that to help me get through the day and also have more protein through the day it was interesting as i started to look for protein bars that were like plant-based because obviously they couldn't contain any dairy and finding ones that were a actually good b relatively affordable and c didn't have a ton of sugar but i ended up finding this one plant protein bar and it ended up being delicious I'm actually making some lunch for work this week and I'm doing like hibachi chicken. So I'm just cooking up my onion and zucchini here. I like them pretty crispy. And then this is what I'm using for like the rice base of the hibachi. I'm using this rice cauliflower and this is the cauliflower medley. So it has like some peas and carrots in there to make it more like stir fry hibachi-esque. So with all of this, I'm actually planning on making like a homemade yum yum sauce. And the base of most yum yum sauces or whatever from restaurants is like mayonnaise and ketchup. And it's so weird to me, it almost seems wrong, but there's actually no dairy in mayonnaise. I mean, it's not vegan because there's eggs in it, but I used to always think like mayonnaise was considered dairy, but it's actually not because it's just eggs and some other things in there. So I'm gonna make a sauce with that and some sugar-free ketchup that I have as well. Here's the finished product of the chicken hibachi with zucchini, onions, and the rice cauliflower. And then I made my homemade yum yum sauce or whatever sauce you wanna call it, shrimp sauce, whatever. I just did mayonnaise, sugar-free ketchup, and then I added in onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, and a little bit of water. Shook it all up and there you go. I've made it before and it's super, super good. I'm usually pretty good about meal prepping, but there are some days where I just don't feel like cooking and I have nothing prepared. So on this night, I ended up having some canned soup, which surprisingly the ingredients ingredients weren't as bad as I thought they were going to be, but it had no dairy, which was pretty surprising. And then on another night when I just had like frozen chicken tenders and some vegetables, I found out that Chick-fil-A sauce contains no dairy, which made me so happy and probably the most surprising thing of this entire challenge. 
Salads are definitely one of my go-to meals, so it was a little challenging not to want to just add some goat cheese or feta to the salad, but they always ended up being really tasty. Also, I found out that these IQ bars from one of my keto crates ended up being dairy-free, so it made a perfect snack for this day. I've been so busy today. It's almost two o'clock and I was like, okay, I need to go get something for lunch because I'm on the run. So I decided to just make it easy. I stopped at Chick-fil-A and just did like a curbside order pickup. So I wanted to go healthy and of course dairy-free. So I was able to get their Cobb salad and you can see that I ordered it with no cheese and then for dressings I wasn't sure which ones contained dairy and which ones didn't so I was able to go to their website and look at the nutrition and the allergens and everything and I got these two to try because my normal salad dressing that I'll get from Chick-fil-a is like the avocado lime one which apparently is full of dairy so I'm trying the zesty apple cider vinaigrette which is dairy free and then also surprisingly this creamy salsa is also dairy free I'm kind of in a hurry so I'm gonna eat this salad actually in the Chick-fil-a parking lot and then when I'm done I have more errands to run but this is like my quick go-to to somewhat healthy lunch that is also dairy free. I decided I want some ice cream even though it's so cold outside but obviously because I can't have dairy I need to find something that is dairy free or vegan and hopefully it doesn't have a lot of sugar too because I don't prefer to have lots and lots of sugar so I'm gonna take a gander and see what we have. I don't know about you but I did not know there were so many dairy free ice cream alternatives on the market. Like I had no idea that Ben and Jerry's made a dairy free ice cream. That's pretty cool. I will say though the one common theme I noticed while trying to find a dairy free relatively low sugar ice cream this day was that yes having dairy free alternatives are super great and a little bit healthier but they were all so full of sugar. Like I I still don't understand why there can't be a relatively healthy ice cream out there that is dairy free and low sugar. Now, there are a lot of low sugar ice creams out there. I would know as someone that eats relatively low carb or sometimes keto, like there are ice creams out there made with stevia or sugar alternatives that aren't going to upset your stomach. I wasn't able to find a dairy free ice cream that was also relatively low in sugar or had sugar substitutes. So I ended up settling for this one ice cream made with oat milk that was the lowest in sugar out of all the options that I found and it was pretty good. Another go-to snack that I had a couple times during my 30 days was just a plain old smoothie. The base would usually be like unsweetened vanilla almond milk, frozen berries, and an avocado, which sounds crazy, but it helps it be really creamy and thick. I always have some level of bloating, but ever since I haven't been eating a whole lot of dairy, I haven't really been having any. What's nice is I've just been feeling like less bloated overall by like the end of the day or after a meal. So like that's kind of cool. Even though I only have 10 days left, my fridge is kind of empty and I've been eating like the same things for the last few nights for dinner. So I am going to run to Trader Joe's and see if I can pick up a handful of things and I will see what I can get. Good and it doesn't taste perfumey because you know when stuff has like fruity flavors sometimes it can have a like a perfume taste I hate that so I want to make sure it doesn't taste like that add a little bit in there I so weird I would have never thought to have a lavender or blueberry in a coffee wait is this gonna taste weird in a coffee I just thought of that oh my gosh if your Trader Joe's has this, you need to get it immediately. So good. Some other easy meals I did this week were like burrito bowls with chicken, beans, avocados, cauliflower rice, just no cheese and sour cream, obviously. And then I also did like a spaghetti squash meat sauce pasta that I planned on using the vegan cheese with. I'm planning on adding some of the vegan mozzarella cheese to the spaghetti squash pasta thing. So I need to try it, you know, for science. I'm not sure what to think. Like I'm really not like, what does vegan cheese taste like? This is made with cashew and coconut. This is what it looks like. A um, little skeptical, but you know what? I've eaten worse things, so we'll give it a try. I did just wash my hands by the way, so I'm just gonna grab a couple of little shreds here. I dropped a little bit of it. It's on my shirt. Oh my gosh, I'm being punked. I have to, I'm being punked. If you would have done a blind taste test, regular mozzarella, vegan mozzarella, I could have not, swear to God, I could have not told you which one was the vegan cheese. 
My mind is blown right now. I ended up getting some vegan cream cheese from Trader Joe's and I had it with a bagel this morning. It was okay. It kind of tasted like runny sour cream. Not my favorite thing out of this entire 30 days, but not terrible. Oh, nope, that's way too zoomed in. Do me a favor and just ignore the very large pimple on my chin that I just picked and it started to bleed. Just don't, don't look at it. Just, just pretend it's not there. Thanks. Snacking is probably the hardest time to curve my desire for dairy, especially for cheese, because so many snacks that I love and I usually gravitate toward have cheese in them or are just plain old cheese sticks, cheese and fruit, something like that. So that has been very interesting. I just went to this little coffee shop and I just had like the best iced coffee and she made it with their homemade almond milk and it is so iconic, so good. Um, she said it was unsweetened. It does taste a little sweetened, but it's super good. I'm kind of digging the almond milk in my iced coffee, can't lie. I may officially give up half and half in my coffee after um, the 30 days of uh, no dairy. So we'll see. I just woke up and I think it's time that we have a conversation while I take my pimple patches off. So we're gonna do that. I've been experiencing the worst skin I've ever had in my life and it's freaking me out. Um, not to sound super vain, but I've never experienced something like this. So it's just so weird for me. I actually like cried the other night because I just was so frustrated and I just didn't know like what I was doing wrong and why my skin was acting the way it was. And it just got me really upset because for like the last, I don't even know, for the last few months, nothing I've been doing has gotten my skin clear. I decided to contact a dermatologist that specializes in acne treatments because I'm gonna figure out what the heck is going on. Hopefully going to a dermatologist, they can walk me through what I should be doing better or what I can do. Maybe they'll give me like a pill to take or some kind of prescription topical cream. I like sharing this stuff with you guys to just be as like realistic as possible. But that's it for now. Just wanted to give that little update um, and uh, kind of let you know how my skin goes from here. My last days of meal prepping, I decided to make like a lower carb pasta using this Pasta Zero pasta. And I made this very depressing like dairy-free chicken parmesan knockoff. Um, I used nutritional yeast as the cheese. It honestly wasn't terrible, but it was definitely very sad. And I also made some roasted veggies with some jalapeno chicken sausage. After my 30 days, I'm just a little upset. My results aren't as incredible. I don't know how to word it because nothing really changed for me, if I'm being honest. I was like, oh, my skin's gonna clear. I'm gonna feel great. For what? For what? Because none of that happened to me. My most significant change was that I was truly less bloated. That is a fact. But I only lost five pounds in a month. I would so much rather have cheese and sour cream on my Chipotle bowl. I'm just saying. I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys. My day to day, I did not feel that different. I did not have like improved mental clarity. I did not feel like less tired. I didn't have more energy. Like there was no significant change in my day to day life from cutting out dairy. Just because I didn't see a lot of changes doesn't mean I'm not gonna actively try to reduce the amount of dairy that I do consume from day to day. Lastly, I wanna talk about my skin because I feel like that is the most annoying part of this whole thing. As I began cutting out dairy, I noticed my skin was not clearing up in the slightest. Like I think actually my skin got worse in these last 30 days, but I do not blame that on dairy or the lack of dairy at all. In these 30 days, I decided it was time for me to reach out to a dermatologist because I realized making food changes wasn't helping my skin at this point. Being a woman in their mid 20s puts me at a lot higher risk for developing an onset of adult acne, which I just discovered that I had. Woo! Yay for acne! <laughs> that was like a whole on tangent, so I'm really sorry, but I wanted to share that because I really thought just something so simple like changing what's in my diet could fix my skin. And I get in a sense now how some people that have had really bad acne when people are like just drink more water just wash your face it'll go away that actually it doesn't you you actually sometimes need more help than what you can provide for yourself or you can get at target as always if you made it this far in the video thank you so much for watching subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and thank you again so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video